Hey folks, welcome back to another day. Welcome back to another video. If you're new here, my name is Dee and I make lifestyle content that chronicles my everyday life and I'm trying to get back to doing reviews on black and brown owned businesses. So if that's something that you like, make sure that you like the video, subscribe to the channel and turn on the notification bell so that you're notified every single time I upload a video. Look at Maya Maya. She's so cute. <laughs> Anyways, I am upstairs because I just wanted to open up the vlog and I needed to bring my computer stuff down. But really quickly, I wanted to open up this vlog, tell you guys about my adventures. I think I told you that I wanted to check out Eastgate Shopping Center or Mall and then I wanted to go to a fabric store. One of those things did not happen. So firstly, when it came to the fabric store, I had reached out to one of my friends asking where she got her fabric from because she's taken sewing classes around. She got a sewing machine. She has like a little setup and everything at her house. So obviously I'm gonna ask her where she got gets her fabric. So she told me that she gets her fabric from Musa Fabrics and it's kind of like in the, what was it called? It was called the Oriental Mall in the, I think like CBD area. But the thing is, we've heard a lot of people say how dangerous the CBD is. And like, if you go down there it's like very, it's just, okay, it's just very inner city. Like just imagine a, a, a regular inner city like Philadelphia, LA, NYC, and just think about some of the more not so great areas. That's kind of what it reminds me of. It doesn't, it doesn't scream to me, this is specific to South Africa. It literally just looks like any inner city. When I, I was kind of researching the area and everything, and I told my boo about it, he's like, yeah, I prefer if you don't go there by yourself. And like my friends just weren't available at the time to be able to make a quick trip to the fabric store. So I ended up not going there. And then he reminded me of something. We came across this place called Metro Home. He's like, oh, every time you kept mentioning a fabric store, I was thinking that you meant Metro Home. And this is in like the Midland, like Pretoria area. And so, so I went to Metro Home and got some fabrics because I think I told you guys that I've been wanting to get some fabric to make some head wraps because I'm tired of wearing these. Like I love my beanies, they're great, but a lot of times I wear these to sleep. And so when I'm just like, you know, wanting to play Lady of the Manor, I don't want to wear a beanie and I don't even want to wear my robe. I want to wear some really cute lounge clothes or some really cute actual clothes, depending on what it's like in the house, if it's hot, hot, or cold. And I want to wear a really cute um, head wrap. And so a lot of the head wraps that I have in the States, I've made myself simply because I went to the fabric store, bought like a yard of fabric or maybe even half a yard of fabric, and then just found tutorials online on how to tie them. So the first one is this brown color. It's not exactly like my shade of brown or even the same shade of brown as this robe, but I felt like it was a good kind of warm brown that I could wear with really pretty much any of, of my clothes because a lot, I feel like a lot of my clothes kind of air more on the warm side. It's stretchy because I don't have a sewing machine here and I have to save up for that and everything. So I needed to get fabrics that are stretchy, not only just to kind of help with wrapping it around the head, but also so that when I cut, I don't have to hem them, which is really nice. So this is really nice. It's just like a, a, a stretchy fabric. I don't know if you can see the texture. It's not too textured or anything. There's quite a bit of fabric here. Like I'm not gonna use all of this to, you know, create a head, a head wrap. Uh, so I'm going to look up some tutorials again to see how much and see if I can, cause I do have tape measure and just cut it to size and then play around with the different styles of head wrapping. And then this one I'm super excited about. I love green, like pretty much any shade of green except for like seafoam green and like lime green, I love. And this is like this really pretty emerald green velvet. Now it's looking more bluish on camera and that could just be the, the way the light's reflecting on it. But this is in person like a true emerald green. This might be more representative on camera of what the true color is. This is so soft and it's so soft and it's so cute. And I was playing around last night um, as my boo and I were just kind of like chatting and stuff just with this amount of fabric. It's still too much. It's still too much fabric like for a head wrap, at least for me, because like I don't have a ton of hair to be able to keep it up anyway. So I have to be quite strategic with how I wrap this stuff up. I ended up going there. Uh, I will be making regular trips there because it's just like a huge, huge place. Like tons and tons and tons and tons of rows of fabrics and they have these um like when you first walk in there's like the bridal section and then in front of you like kind of more towards the right is like their silk fabrics 
they are so pretty like all the patterns are pretty like even if they're in colors that i don't necessarily gel with they're still so beautiful it was really fun so then because i didn't go to eastgate because it's completely like you know separate direction from where metro is i decided well i'm right by menlin mall i'm literally like two minutes away so i just went to menlin mall it's so warm yeah he, well he was knocked the f out <laughs> he's not anymore let me tell y'all about the freaking daisies I don't know if I've talked about them on my, on my channel. The daisies are so effing invasive. I would just Google it to just kind of save time. Just Google them, daisies, D-A-S-S-I-E-S, -S -S -E or sometimes they're called rock daisies, sometimes they're called something else. They are invasive AF. Like there are certain areas in the backyard that they love to congregate on. But the thing is, they go all over the property. And the thing is, it's not just ours, it's the entire neighborhood. Okay, they're obnoxious. They're obnoxious. And so like we'll see them out just like chilling out looking at us through the window Sometimes we'll see them like sitting on rocks and just watching us and stuff like they're pretty skittish Like if you as a person go out there, they're gonna run away. They're so invasive and they poop and pee Everywhere if you go to the front like um, where one of our gates is poop everywhere Everywhere guys like everywhere and he literally seeks it out and I'm like, oh my gosh I can't get rid of it. like I can't keep up with the poop Hey folks, welcome back to the vlog. And welcome to the courtyard. Where there's nothing going on. It's just me and Mr. Kratos. There's nothing out here as I just said, so there's really nowhere to put this, but actually I'll just use this chair. The daisies effed up my stuff, right? This is what my little rosemary plant is looking like. And I had new growth in everything. Like, look at the roots. Look at the roots. Like, I did that, you know? But unfortunately, they ate the stuff so i have to throw it out but the good thing is i have these two that are pretty much thriving there's roots they're ready to be repotted and i'm going to repot them now so i decided to come out here we said that because this area doesn't really get a lot of daisies it's meaning like other parts of the backyard that this would probably be the better place for us to have the herbs and everything. So until I'm able to get my little greenhouse over in the other section of the backyard, this might be just where we have to do it for now. I'm going to get rid of the dirt that's in here just because I just feel like I need to get rid of it. Oh my gosh, this guy. Kratos is going to help me, slash not really help me, and I'm going to repot this stuff. Look at him. Let me show you what he'd be looking like. This is what I have to deal with. Oh, say hello. Oh! <laughs> Swig, you're gonna be the light for me. You're gonna be the reason why I go to an early grave now. got going on with our little rosemary babies <laughs> a very curious puppy yeah look at that i'm so proud are you proud of your mama so we've got this sink out here that we don't use i mean it does work it don't have to get replaced over time i figured i'd put them in here for now until we get like a little shelf built because I think that's something that my boo wants to do he wants to build a shelf like on the wall up here for the herbs and then that'll kind of keep critters away I think the pineapple is doing okay I think like I think I see some new growth possibly coming in through the middle I don't know if you guys can see some of the little points 
It's kind of hard to point out because it's, it's poking me. <laughs> hey folks, we are in the kitchen. We meaning me and Mr. Kratos. Yourself. Look at yourself. So, as always, we're in the kitchen because it's where I spend most of my time in preparation for dinner and other lovely meals. If I go in and out of frame, it's probably because I am trying to wrangle a puppy. But you can't really see all the ingredients over here, but we have ingredients to make loaded baked potato soup. This isn't the first time that I've made it, and the last time I made it, it was really good. So actually, I'm missing a couple of things. So much to cover while we're in the kitchen. And I will try to go as quickly as I possibly can, because it's a lot. So I am... There, okay, let's start with the soup. <laughs> let's start with the soup first. So there's potatoes, scallions, bacon, cheese, cream, maybe even some sour cream, um, milk, and I think that's it. There's like seasonings like salt, pepper, there's garlic. I have to use flour to kind of help thicken things and all of that. So yeah, we're gonna prep everything for the, for the soup. And as I'm doing that, I'm gonna tell you about the events today so the first thing is I had to go to the no I had to go to the city today so I had to go to the city because there's still some things that we have been working on switching over to us account wise since uh, since closing on the house and which has been a, a little while now I will talk about this more in videos about the house and everything and truthfully i'll probably have to do a couple of videos on the house because there's just so much information and i want to make sure that i cover as much as i possibly can and basically I, I won't be able to give you every single thing right i'll be able to speak primarily to our experience and then if there's anything else that we feel like you guys would need and then over time as we continue to experience other things i may include those in other videos we tried registering our account online so that we can get the invoice for our utility bills and yeah for the utility bills so that whenever they come or when we can whenever they're ready like the invoice is ready we'll get notified and then we can obviously pay the bill well when we tried to go online right because we live in a digital world the website calls for a south african id which we don't have of course because we're not permanent residents nor are we citizens so we're foreigners so every every id type that we use is going to be a passport we couldn't figure it out we couldn't get past literally the registration part <laughs> so my boo was like all right we're gonna have to go to the city at some point today or some point this week and tell them about our issues because it's like we don't know how much we have to pay on the bill we don't know how we get notified on the bill we can't register on the website so clearly we need some help so we have workers here and i'll get to them in a, in a minute because i think they're just about done for the day because we have workers here we both forgot about we couldn't both go so i had to go to the um to the city and so i get down there mind you i only go down there just to have some basic questions answered so i'm like how do we pay how do we get notified blah 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 tell them about the registration stuff and that's really the main point of contention here is the fact that like we can't register on online and everybody was telling me oh you know uh, just go online just go online and they're like okay well this person can help you with this this person can help you with that but at the end of the day like no one can help me with registering because even if you tell me how much the bill is, even if you tell me how I can get the bill moving forward now that things are switched over to us from the previous owner, I can't get to anything to pay and that's the only way that you can pay is through, um, through their online system. I was able to get some answers 
for some things, but I wasn't able to get the main answer, which was how do I register because I don't have an option. And they kept telling me, oh, well, there should be an option. There should be a drop down that allows you to switch the ID type. And I'm like, nope, there's no drop down. Okay, so the next thing is the guys that are here. We have workers here. Or as you guys know, we have uh, an older house here. So lots and lots of work will be happening over the next however long it takes for us to get this place to the point where we want it to be, which is functional, off the grid, all of that jazz. We have a bunch of foliage outside that is like dead, it's just overgrown, all this other stuff, right? So we got in contact with a guy to trim trees that are like along electric fences and not even just our electric fences but even like the neighbors right so um, we don't want any issues to be caused because of the trees we already are having issues with trees <laughs> and like a sewer thing i can talk to you guys about that later it's a, it's my long day today so we might be talking quite a bit about some stuff yeah so we had some guys come and cut down two two big trees so we have these big like i don't want to call them palm trees but that's kind of what they remind me of but they're expensive here and they're beautiful trees and everything but it's like when you have a pool and they're close by the pool they drop everything up in there and it's a nightmare to clean up so we had one that was removed months ago that one was just sitting falling down in the backyard for the longest time these guys came today finished cutting down the other two. We actually felt it like thump when they fell on the ground, which is really funny. And yeah, they chopped them up, got rid of them. And when I went outside, it was super, super bright because those trees had been in the way before to, uh, to block the sunlight. Okay, so because I started dinner too late, obviously, load shedding, all that kind of stuff, whatever, you kind of work around it. I have to get the pressure cooker going and I'm trying to get it hot so that, like, I'll show you the soup right now. It is simmering away. We're gonna be experiencing low shedding soon, sooner than later. So I figured I should just get the pressure cooker hot so that once the stove turns off, cause we're not like 100% off the grid just yet, we can just transfer it to a hot pressure cooker and then just continue to uh, have it do its thing. Ooh, it is vigorously bubbling right now. Just makes sense for me to, um, to get this started on the stove and then, oop, did you see the, the light just click? So every, so not everything but just the stove and the oven turned off. Okay, doesn't look like much because I just, I transferred it into a Tupperware container, but I wanna show you like the consistency. Like it's thick. I used an immerse, what's it called? Immersion blender to blend up some of the potatoes. So there are some chunks and then there are other smaller chunks. I added some heavy cream, only a little bit, green onion, all of the bacon, and then some shredded cheese in the soup. And then I have a little bit more uh, extra green onion and bacon in case we want extra. And then there's always extra cheese. 